pipeline velocity is an immensely powerful metric. Because unlike your standard customer acquisition and revenue metrics, it takes into account a whole host of sub-metrics um, that frankly offers B2B revenue leaders an incredible perspective on their pipeline's performance. So if you're not already tracking it, hopefully this video will inspire you to start. Pipeline velocity is a go-to-market metric that's used to measure the speed at which leads are moving through your sales pipeline. It's measured in dollars per day, week, month, or whatever it is, and is used as a relative metric so you can compare across time. For example, your pipeline velocity was $9,000 in December and it's $10,000 in January, you're moving in the right direction. But the beauty of pipeline velocity is not only in its offering a really useful reading of your pipeline, but in how it arrives at that reading and in turn how it can help you to increase velocity. Okay, so here's how you work out pipeline velocity. You've got number of sales qualified leads in your pipeline, you've got your win rate, and you've got your average deal size, all over your current sales cycle in days. Let's work through a simple example. Say you've got 30 SQLs in your pipeline and you've got a 10% close deal and you've got a deal size value of $10,000. You're going to multiply these together and then you're going to divide by your current sales pipeline speed, which is 80 days, multiplied by 30 for your monthly value. This means that you're moving $11,250 of pipeline a month. The pipeline velocity metric is ideal for both marketing and sales leaders. Indeed, it's useful to anyone in the B2B company leadership. This is because it offers great high-level overview of historic performance, and it can also be used to accurately formulate forecasts. Apart from offering an accurate recording of the strength or speed of your pipeline, as I previously mentioned, it allows you to accurately prepare forecasts with four levers that you can play with to rev up your pipeline velocity. Again, you can work to bring more SQLs, improve the win rate, increase the deal sizes, or shrink the length of your customer journeys. Any or all of them can be used to increase your pipeline velocity. A final point that's really necessary to touch on is tracking. Like any metric, pipeline velocity is only as useful as the data you're feeding in. In this case, you get most of the data from your CRM, except or your time to revenue, or how long your customer journey is. So here you really need to pay attention on where you're starting the timer and where you're ending it. So there you have it. That's a quick intro to pipeline velocity metric. And I really hope that it's inspired you to start using it because it is really useful when you compare it to your customer acquisition metrics, simply saying the let's get more customers into the pipeline and the revenue metric, let's just get more money flowing through. Pipeline Velocity allows you to unpack your pipeline and use four different, five different separate metrics to bring that number up.